So I am a little behind on all this make your own top 10 what you want in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I've been seeing it all over on other YouTubers and Poketubers channels, and I thought it's about time that I do it. What's going on guys, United Gamer 101 here, and welcome to my top 10 on my hopes and wants for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So obviously any kind of top 5 or top 10 is opinion based, and these are my opinions, and the internet just loves to disagree with opinions. So I ask you, if you do disagree with it, that's completely okay, but just let me know why, and also let me know what you want in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Starting off, we have number 10, and it's a pretty simple one. It's that I really would love for Pokemon to follow me again. I thought that was an amazing addition back in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I just really get attached to my Pokemon and I just think it's so simple and but yet so cool and I don't see the need to take that out of the game. I really enjoyed that and I really wish they would bring that back. Uh, do I think they will? Probably not. I don't expect them to bring that back since the past generations and remakes have not had that. But I don't really get why they needed to take that out. It's pretty simple, I know, uh, but I really would love my Pokemon to follow me again. It's just something so cool, you know, any kind of Pokemon that I really like, I can just put them in my party and have them follow me. That being said, brings me to my number 9, Pokemon Customization and Increased Character Customization. Character customization was a great addition in X and Y in the Kalos region, and I really think they could go even more depth with it. And I definitely think they will bring it back. That was an awesome addition, and I've never heard anyone have complaints really about it. I just feel like they could go even more. And also, they could go into customizing your Pokemon. Now, as I just said, you know, I really would love it if your Pokemon could follow you. How cool would it be to actually have that Pokemon that you customize, you know, wearing a hat or something and that he's wearing that hat as he follows you? I just think that's really cool and I think that'd be a great addition into Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I'm not saying they have to throw in a thing where you gotta put like a full on suit for your Pokemon or a dress or anything that major, but a simple hat, bandana, scarf, anything that, you know, these little simple things you can add to your Pokemon. I mean, they had bandanas in the last Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But now for number 8, a console HD version. Now, I've wanted this for a very, very long time. Ever since the GameCube had the 3D Realm Pokemon games as Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness, I've always wanted another one of those for the new one, like the Wii or the Wii U. And not for Shadow Pokemon per se, I've wanted them for like to go and collect badges just like I did on the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and 3DS. And obviously, no, I'm not asking for a brand new game on that, just a replica where you can trade in between your Pokemon from your HD console version. So if you ever want to go out and go on the road, in a car ride or wherever you're going you could trade your save file over. It's a very similar concept that's already been on the Wii U for Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate if you're familiar with that game series. It wouldn't be that hard, but unfortunately no I do not think they're going to add this. I think it would be a great addition, but I feel like if there's ever a console Pokemon game for the Wii U or the next gen one, that it's going to be its very own game and not a replica or a crossover between a portable system. Now for number 7, it's another simple one so I won't take a lot of time on it. Erasable HMs. This is just, it's too long. We're in Gen 7 of Pokemon and I still will have HMs that I cannot erase besides going to a move deleter. Please, please Game Freak. I'm not asking for much. Yeah, it's okay if they're in there. Don't add more HMs. God, no, do not add more. Just allow me to erase them. Please, Gen 7, make it a miracle. Believe in my dream, Erasable HMs. Number six, this is something I believe we all want. Please make the game more difficult. I, I have been back and doing my Nuzlocks and all these things and playing the old games of Gen 1 through 3, I guess, and the games are much more difficult. And I'm not just talking about the difficulty of defeating trainers and collecting gym badges and defeating the champion. I'm talking about catching legendaries too. In Pokemon X and Y and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I caught the legendaries so easily. I'm thinking back to like Fire Red when I could not catch Mewtwo to save my life on it of anything other than a Master Ball. It would take forever. It just adds a little bit more to the game, more to the challenge make the legendaries harder to catch, and make the game harder. This EXP share, the new way they do it where it adds to all your Pokemon, makes the game so much easier. You're, you don't even ever have to switch out. You can get one tank of a Pokemon and use it the entire game. It takes away strategy. It takes away from the game. I just really believe they can make the game a little more difficult in all ways, and it would be better for everybody. Number five, we have Explore Other Regions. Now, this is something that is really cool, and it hasn't been in many games, and I think would be a great addition in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Not to mention they left Pokemon X and Y in the Kalos region kind of just off in Wonderland. You don't really know exactly everything that happened with Zygarde and whatnot. 
So, I mean, I think it would be a great way to travel over to that region, and maybe multiple regions. That way you could go and explore it. I think it'd be a great thing for the Pokemon 20th anniversary, you know? It's Pokemon's 20th anniversary. Be able to go and visit all the regions that we've been able to play over the past 20 years. Cross-region play is just a great thing that Game Freak can implement into Pokemon Sun and Moon. Especially for the fact that we can just dig a little deeper back into Gen 6 story and learn more about that. Number 4. This is something that we're all expecting and all wanting, obviously, and that's more Mega Evolutions. But I'm going to take it a little bit further and just say more regular evolutions. I love Mega Evolutions, do not get me wrong. I love being able to scavenge for more items and take my Pokemon even further. I mean, some of the Pokemon that I've been playing with for the past 15 years, like Charizard, I got to go and see two new evolutions of him and take him and make him even more powerful and change his type even. But that being said, there's a lot of Pokemon that haven't really been tapped into yet and that can be taken even further without Mega Evolutions. Like Skarmory, Floatzel, Skunk Tank, I could go on forever. There's a ton of Pokemon that have no evolutions or only two that can be brought in and, you know, added a few more. And on top of that, maybe an evolution or a Mega Evolution on top of that. And obviously there are Pokemon that really need Mega Evolutions like Flygon and Milotic. So I really think they need to focus on what they're going to do with this, you know, and make sure they take all the time they need to add evolutions. And I really think they really need a new Eevee evolution. I have been waiting for so long for a Dragon Eevee. Please add that into Sun and Moon. Number three, an increased after game. Now a big complaint back in Pokemon X and Y was the lacking of an after game. Once you completed the game, there really wasn't much else to do. And that's kind of why X and Y was kind of left just in the middle of nowhere. And that's why I really think Sun and Moon really needs to take time to complete a very well-developed after game. It could be its very own, or you go back into Kalos region with the cross region play and learn more about AZ and Zygarde and stuff like that. I mean, it's something that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire did really well with the Delta episode. I think they really need to bring that back into Sun and Moon. And like, no one's gonna sit there and complain about extra gameplay in the Pokemon game. That's something they really need to take time and add and make sure they don't do the same thing they did on X and Y. Number two, somehow connecting this new game of the 20th anniversary with Pokemon Go. I think a great way would be able to somehow catch Pokemon in real life on Pokemon Go and somehow have that connected over to your new game of Pokemon Sun and Moon. You know, we already know we can trade up from the virtual consoles they're adding that they mentioned in the last Nintendo Direct. But I was thinking of a new way to somehow catch Pokemon in real life and be able to trade that over into your game and use it there as well. And I mean, it's far-fetched, I know, but one can dream. I think that would just be a great new addition into Pokemon Sun and Moon. It would be probably hard to pull off correctly, but I think they could do it if Game Freak took the long enough time to actually try. And without further ado, number one. Now this one is, it's not really in any particular order, like I, the whole hype up to number one is the biggest thing, but it's something I've wanted for a long time. I doubt it's going to happen because it's not happened after 20 years. But I would love multiple game slots. I would love to have different characters, maybe one for YouTube, one for my own playthrough. I mean, I do have to end up buying three or four games so I can have one for YouTube, one for a Nuzlocke, one to do guides on, and one for just casual game. So, I mean, I understand it. They just got $160 pretty much off me after buying four games. But I really think, you know, for the 20th anniversary, they could add this into the game. I would love it. I think no one would disagree that it would be a great thing. I don't really think it's going to happen, but I think it'd be awesome. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I did an okay job. I don't really do top 10s a lot, and if you did enjoy it, I will do more. I want, like, you know, top 10 new Pokemon I want, top 10 uh, Mega Evolutions I want, top 10 Pokemon I want, regular evolutions. There's a lot of things I can do with it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and tell me what you guys want in the new Pokemon Sun and Moon. And if you are new to the UG Nation, be sure to hit that subscribe button for a ton of content coming up for Pokemon Sun and Moon and a lot of new Nuzlocke and Verses coming up really soon. As always, guys, this is not just a channel, it's a family, and I'll see you guys later.